If you have got aortic valve disease and you need an aortic valve replacement, the question you're gonna to need to ask yourself is do I want a tissue valve, pigs or cows, or do I want a mechanical valve where I'm gonna need a blood thinner called warfarin for the rest of my life? It's a tablet, you take it every day. Although the mechanical valve will last forever, this is the drawback. And of course, age is the key determination in deciding which of these valve types is best for you. So that, for example, if you are under the age of 50, there's a life-enhancing benefit associated with a mechanical valve. If you're over the age of 70, there's a life-enhancing benefit associated with having a tissue valve. Somewhere in between, there's perhaps a lifestyle choice, although there is some data that suggests that even in that group, a mechanical valve might be the best way forward. Now, this might change, of course, because of two things. Firstly, there are newer tissue valves that seem to have greater levels of durability, and I'm gonna to come to back to that in a moment. And then, of course, there's a new treatment called TAVI, where as a tissue valve fails, we can pass another valve through the groin without surgery into the old valve and correct the problem. We can already do that, actually, but I am sure that that treatment will become more sophisticated as time goes on. But let me go back to the more durable tissue valves. You may have heard of a valve called the Inspiris Brasilia valve. This is a tissue valve made the same, as way, the same way as most tissue valves, but the leaflets have been treated slightly differently to make it last longer. And if you look at the way this valve works in the models that we've used before we bring it to the clinical space, these valves seem to last three or four times longer than the traditional excellent tissue valves that we compared them with. Now, we've only been using these in humans for a short period of time, perhaps less than 10 years now. And there's a very interesting study that's just been published that's looked at the durability of the Inspiris Resilia valve out to 7.7 years. The durability of this valve is more than 99% at 7.7 years. That's a very good result. So the early data is beginning to indicate that the Inspiris Resilia valve is indeed the durable valve we're hoping it's going to be. But of course, we need to wait 10, 15, 20 years, and if you need surgery now, that's not going to be enough for you. But I think it's safe to assume that if you're not sure what type of valve to have, and you're keen on the tissue valve, it may not be such a bad thing to consider the Inspiris Resilia valve because its durability may well surpass, and I suspect it will surpass, those traditional tissue valves. And with the advent of developments in TAVI, groin-based replacement of aortic valves, or even failure in a tissue valve, these advancements over the next 15 to 20 years will provide patients with a simple, straightforward, non-surgical solution. That will mean that the avoidance of warfarin may be very desirable in certain age groups.